Hi, welcome to Saturday Music School. This should be quite good fun. The, the point of this is to give you a chance to watch what I'm doing in real time and then maybe for you to go off and have a go at doing something similar yourself. Therefore, you can see how it's coming together and I'm going to split this into essentially three weeks. So we'll get a third of the way now, then we'll do the middle third, then the last third, and if it gets accepted by a music library we'll have a bonus week where we will finish it off and I'll be in the live stream there as well. Hopefully, with this being pre-recorded, I will be able to join you in the live stream as well. I can't predict exactly what's going to happen, um, but all things being well, I will join you in the live stream so you can ask more questions as well. Okay, let's get on with some hybrid orchestral music. Hello, it is very AM at the moment, uh, half past five. I'm going to pre-record this, but I am going to do it live, if you see what I mean. Um, what I've realised is I do spend quite a lot of time thinking and that's probably not the most interesting for YouTube. So what I'll do is I'll go back and any massive chunks where I'm just, it looks like I'm sitting here doing nothing. Actually, I'm thinking I will go and reduce. We're going to aim for a hybrid orchestral style track. So I've just grabbed a sci-fi battle scene off the internet as a bit of inspiration and we're going to see what we can come up with. Hybrid orchestral basically means an orchestra, but you're allowed to also add guitars, synths, drum kits, choirs, and add effects as well. So sub bass is quite a big one. Uh, that you hear coming in, lots of risers, whooshes, sound effect elements coming into the composition as well. Okay, let's get a new project started. First thing I'm going to do is what I always do and grab a piano. What sort of piano? Probably not a felty thing. Let's just grab the grandeur. Is that coming through? Yes, magic. Okay. So, we've got our piano sketch track ready to go. And... We are going to need to come up with some chords. Also, the benefit of pre recording and then cutting out bits is if I go and get a coffee, or as I've just remembered, take the bins out this morning, um, you won't have to wait around for that to happen either. Oh. The brief I'm writing this for, actually, let's get things set up. Uh, want something other than 4-4, four, four. so I thought I'd do 6-8 this morning. Uh, probably doesn't need to be super fast if we're doing it 6-8. Um, tend to like even numbers for some reason. I think it's something to do with the fact that eventually bars and times match up. So at 45 seconds we're on bar 27. Hmm. There you go. Always start one bar in, as you probably know by now, so that if any MIDI information needs to be pre-sent before the actual track starts, 
you can do that in bar one. So the actual MIDI notes will start from bar one. Uh, it also means when you bounce things out, you can go from a notch behind and capture any MIDI sends as well. So what are we going to do? Epic. So there we go, there's a start. So we've got D minor, B flat, major, G minor 7 maybe. Lifting. Okay, let's go with something like that to start with. Now, this is needing to be epic. I'm going to plump for some Colossus strings to start with. Um, although, the other element I want to get in, now I did a video on this the other day because I knew this request was coming in. is 
I showed how to do guitar. on um, MIDI guitar. That's about, I shortened it to like a two, three minute video if you want to go and watch that. Uh, and literally all I did was this. Um, doo -doo -doo, because it was in 6.8. That's the reason I remember. was it um am i in the wrong register here I don't think I did them too loud. I thought they were quite short notes, I seem to remember. They weren't quite that loud, though. Um, Let's try it anyway. So trying to think like a guitarist on a fretboard. Something like that. And then I repeated it. And second time through. Change it for the fourth time. Mm, something like that. Uh, glue them all together. Velocity doesn't matter. Oh. We need the expression. Record that. Let's stick that in latch mode. Get the metronome on. 
check that OBS Bridge is working, which weird thing. is not on. Touch OSC bridge is what I mean. There we go. It's not being the fastest in the world today. Maybe it is warming up. What I've done there is wiggled the controller because when I go to the region, it will now show me what I've just modulated. Goodness knows why that is being intermittent. So we can get rid of some of that. The first note is going to need to be accented. As is that one. Maybe not quite that. That's adding quite a lot of the height. Tad high at the end. In fact, I think I'm going to make sure they're all just below 100 because that is probably the trigger point for the next sample. Sounds good to me. So we've got some dynamics in there. That's an improvement on the short video I did the other day. So let's get back to what we were on. So that was Colossus Guitar Shorts. And we're in six eight. The Colossus stuff I was thinking of. What does that sound like actually using the guitar track?
I'd like to leave the timing about 50% so it's not spot on quantized. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, is it Spicato? I think so. Okay, let's think hybrid orchestral. We're going to need some sort of riser to get into this, aren't we? Probably a symbol. But the brief for this did say whatever you like goes. You also said. Uh, See where inspiration takes you. Okay. Um, I'm not sure I actually want a kit designer then. Ensemble designer has wishies. And reverses and symbol swells. That's what I was thinking. We're quite slow. Maybe I need a whoosh. Jingle bell. That's pretty cool. This is the bit that I mean about cutting things out because I'm just playing around having fun and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but I can't really teach you how to play around literally open up your instruments and see what comes out i'm thinking that's almost like a sort of a shaving razor blade on a one of those leather straps and that's more of a knife coming out a sheath um, I'm going to have to go with one of them. I'm going to have to put it on the bit. Whoosh. Yes. Correct. But it was damage whoosh. And that is going to need a hit. At the end of it. Ooh. Could we do something ethnic? I 
never tried this. for what we need though. Starts early. That's quite cool, isn't it? as a fill goes. Always worth trying offsets. hits in there. Nah, let's have it louder. Okay. Now that I'm in the mood for orchestral, I mean percussion, what sort of rhythm could we stick on it? Oh, we could go triplet. Let's stick straight to start with. Could we go? Straight in with a high loop. I tend to leave those till later on, but louder than I thought. Nice. Got a lot of time for that sound. 
sticking that back in but it's not too high yeah There you go, there's another example of me uh, wasting time, as it may seem to you. What I'm actually doing is thinking. <laughs> um, as you listen over, or the way my brain seems to work is, as I listen over and over, it brings new ideas to me, um, which is why a lot of the time, if you watch previous videos where I haven't edited out, you'll hear me listening back quite a lot, just to get more inspiration. Um, I am going to do a bit of a jump cut here because, uh, as I said at the beginning, I haven't taken the bins out. Yeah, should have done it earlier. Um, so I will be back with you shortly with a new cup of coffee as well. Okay, I'm sure you'll all be thrilled to know the bins are out. Quick reminder, orchestral hybrid, I grabbed that off the internet as a bit of inspiration. So there's some hero dashing around doing super fancy things and shooting things and there's big epic spaceships around. Maybe. Who knows? This is where we got to. There's a guitar track as well that we had a go with. So, I still need to build this out. Let's grab something else that's fun. How about something from gravity? Is it too long? It's almost the perfect length.
was it too loud? Overall, yes. we won't have the guitars. What else is going to come in there? I'm hearing some strings, but more defined strings. So I'm thinking violin leader, BBC SO, because that's got a really nice attack to it. And the spiccato. Uh, we're going to have to take that up a couple of octaves. Now, because I've copied that down, it's got that automation on it as well. So, let's get rid of that. It's a bit more impact than that, doesn't it?
maybe we just stick some gain on it. strings a bit more now we're gonna need some sort of harmony how about violas so sometimes I go violins too right now but I'm going to keep this quite low in register. sound I was thinking of. shift it over by a beat. That's quite nice, isn't it? And they were hits. So back to thinking of the piano. That's all we've got so far, really.
energy. How are we going to get that in? Well, a lot of it's going to be repeating. So that's going to repeat this. It's sort of going to repeat. Actually, that's fine. Let's glue those together as a loop on its own. Let's not use that sound again. Let's keep the high loop going though, that's nice. Want those hits to continue. Maybe come in at the start. Probably like that. And something else. thinking something more snare-like. First one miles off. Instead of that massive growl, Nice subby.
sound. We are going to need some sort of bassy stuff. So, what can we find in mosaic? Not a lot if I don't let it go. That's cool. six eight here and that's wanting to do four four I actually want it to hold don't I Yeah. 
Yes, I do. Is it better off down an octave? Well, it's definitely giving that hybrid orchestral feel. That's a nice push. Let's stick that on. Close. I need to tweak that a bit more. I think we could then sort of modulate up. By which I mean copy everything and move it. A whole bunch of other stuff that's going to end up in here, but I think that's not bad for our first hour. So let's hear what we've got. Not even used the guitars yet. Okay, uh, yeah, let's have a listen to this. Remember. We were using some sort of epic space scene as inspiration. Don't know if that's really working yet, but uh, we shall see. And this is what we've got. I'm liking that. Um, if you've got time, a like and a subscribe is always appreciated. Um, I'll see you when I get to the next part. Bye for now.